everyone and welcome to another art book overview. It's been a very, 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 very long time since I've done one of these. And this particular book was actually um, the most voted for option that I had on my Twitter. So I did run a poll. This one was the winner of that one. So this is uh, Moto Hagio's SF artworks or her science fiction artworks. This book was released in 2016, uh, early April, and is 192 pages. And unlike some other books, this is in the B5 trim, so it's a little bit smaller than um, a normal A4 book. And this particular book does have a beautiful front cover of Sai from Star Red, a series we never got in English. But uh, the, the book does contain a whole bunch of Hagio's uh, science fiction manga, including They Were Eleven and Otherworld Barbara, which were really her most well-known uh, series in English that have been released. So yes, I'm just going to, like with all of my normal uh, art book um, overviews, I'm just going to just not go over every single page because that's, um, as you can see, that uh, does have the intro in English as well as Japanese. Um, and then we start with a very, very lovely um, piece from They Were Eleven. But I'm not going to show off every page of this like with all my other art book overviews. This is just to give you an idea of the sort of work that is inside this art book. Star Red is so beautiful looking. I wish we could see a release of it sometime in the future because it seems very interesting. As you can tell, it is mostly colored pieces, especially in these first couple chapters. Um, so this book is sort of broken down into, uh, eras. So her, the first chapter is sort of her early work in the seventies all the way up until the last chapter, which is more, uh, just comic black and white stuff, I, I think. Uh, and, uh, but it does cover her work all the way to current so it does like I mentioned before have other world Barbara stuff but you can see uh, chapter two is her 1970s to 1980s work and unfortunately um, despite Hagia having such a expansive science fiction um, career she really isn't known that well in English for her sci-fi stuff. I think probably her most well-known title in English is Heart of Thomas, which, whilst being an incredibly influential series, isn't really um, that representative of her entire um, life and works as a mangaka. Um, she's really been one of the forefront sci-fi female mangaka, the sort of when the early shoujo sci-fi was going on. Um, so it's nice to have such a beautiful release available. Like with all of my art books, I did get this one from Amazon Japan. I'm fairly certain it's still available. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So if you are wanting to purchase your own, then I would definitely recommend it because it is just a beautiful book, as you can see. Really vibrant colors, and I think um, Hagia has always had a really interesting matchup of her fine, detailed artwork with just these rich, vibrant colors without getting too muddled in the details. I think if you have too bold of colors, then you can lose a lot of the um, detail work. But I think that, yeah, you can just see with some of these pieces, they're absolutely phenomenal, just gorgeously done. That's 
a prime. Another one of the few works that we did get in English from Hagio. Oh, just absolute. Oh, I'm, I love this book so, so much. It's very, very, very beautiful. Um, definitely a uh, pick up if you are a Hagio fan. Um, I'm not certain if she has any other art books of this type. In released in Japan, I don't think so. I've I've searched a couple times, but I can't ever seem to find anything. So I'm hoping that we'll see one for her more classic side manga as well, because I would love that. But oh, it's just the stuff that she has in here is just beautiful. If you've never read any of Hagio's works, her most recent uh, series, Otherworld Barbara, has been released in English by Fantagraphic Books. And as you can see, this is her more recent works, this particular image from Barbara, and as well as, like, uh, Drunken Dreams and other stories, which was another Fantagraphics release. But there's some beautiful Barbara pieces in here as well. And then, like I said, the final chapter is more so like normal comic paneling work. Um, again, really interesting, beautiful stuff. I love her panel layout. It's so very... Um, there's so much character to how she shows emotion and the movements and how the whole manga and page is laid out. It's something you don't necessarily see all that often, especially with more recent manga. It, manga in its uh, attempt to become more uh, marketable has lost a lot of the character that makes it interesting, I think, or at least some of the more popular stuff as of right now but the expressions just every every little detail in these even if it's not a highly detailed scene um just really emphasizes everything in the story and what what Hagio is trying to write as an author as a mangaka So yes, very, very beautiful book, and one I definitely recommend, uh, like I said, to fans of her work. It's one that is fairly, um, I think it's still in print, so it's fairly easy to find. Um, you're not going to have to pay a huge premium in the secondhand market or anything like that. But yes, just really, really, really wonderful And just like always, information at the back. And then we have our back cover. So that was the entirety or a very sort of overview, thorough or overview of SF Artworks by Moto Hagie, a collection of her science fiction uh, pieces that she's done from her science fiction titles over the several, you know, 40 years that she's been doing this. Beautiful, beautiful release. And if you are wanting your own copy where I got mine at Amazon Japan, I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye till then.